welcome to Okay, so the first thing we're going to be getting is the water walking boots and the seat for that is 2.1.1.19134839841. I have to say that, I really remember. Um, but yeah, you can change your difficulty if you're playing on journey mode, replace um, the first one, you know, the one in the middle of the dots, of the like three dots. It's hard to explain. Just replace the first one with a four if you're playing in journey mode. That's this is basically what you gotta do. Is my mic plugged in? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, so So this is going to be the seat that you don't want to load into. You just go on ahead in this direction and it's going to take you a while because this is a medium world and you've got to make it all the way to the beach. Oh, 
Okay, so I finally made it to the ocean. I guess that's gonna take a while. Just wanna keep on heading down. Eventually, eventually, should find yourself coming across this. Huh? What the hell? I've done this before! What the heck? It worked before as well. Strange. Well, uh, I'm sure another seat will work. Okay, I'm extremely sorry about what happened in the last one. Uh, we had a problem with world creation, but we have this seat now, the medium corruption classic. So basically, what ended up happening with the seed is that they changed it. They changed it in a new update. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing is a completely new one. And this one is even going to be by the sea. So it should be a bit easier to find. That's what we have. We still have to travel over two hundred oceans, which is a shame. You barely even have to go over the ocean. Okay, so right here I've reached the beach and you basically just want to go like right here and just stick straight down. So I'm going to dig down and see if I can find this. So, yeah. Okay, so I've dug down for a while. And as you can see, there's a chest right here. And here we have our water boots. Water boots. So back over here, we're just going to head to our Tinker's Workshop and we are going to create the Obsidian Water Walking Boots. If you're wondering how I got this, um, it's from an Obsidian Skull, one of these things that crafted using Obsidian and Obsidian is very obvious to get if you've ever played Minecraft, Water and Lava. Very simple. walking. Uh, so let's move on to the next one which is going They're dropped by imps, by the way. I need a lava chunk. That's what it is. That's all we need now. We just need the lava chunks. Okay. 
Okay, so that's gonna be the seeds, a small world, classic and corruption. Okay, let's do that. Unfortunately, there is gonna be an old mining for this one since life charms are usually found at the lava level. Um, which is a shame, but hey, what you gonna do about it? Gonna be a lot of mining, so I'm just gonna gonna mine down and then try to the marking points of one to mine to the side and find certain things, basically. When you get to the bottom, just keep on going down. It's gonna take a while. Especially if you have the stage on there. But it, honestly, it won't take too long. But you're gonna keep on going down. Oh! This is... Hold on a second. Ha! <gasps> I might mind that now. Yes, I have actually. Um, I'll uh, just basically just walk around. Oh. Wait, we won't do anything. Let me get in. Just get through there. I'm looking for. So it turns out that there are really good people in my life. You may have some things, but they actually ended up keeping everything else. So mine right down here. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Five heart crystals. Is one kid. And you got me thinking, oh my god, that's amazing. There's no way, there's no way they could hold it. Oh, but my friend, my friend there is. Because look, if you go right here, you just dig down in between these hearts. It's five hearts, that's insane. If you're missing any, if you need any hearts, go here. But look, there's not only one. But there's two, two gold chests. Wow! Two gold chests. That must be insane. But not only that, one of them has the has the lava jar in it, which is an extremely overpowered, overpowered piece of gear. And 
And if you don't have a double jump, there's even a clown and model. And in both of them, you get suspicious looking eyes. This... You can't top this. You can't top this. This is the most insane scene. See them. We teleport to our crafting area and we forge it. And we forge the most greatest, <laughs> the most greatest shoes you have ever seen. Magma skull? Jesus. That's terrifying. Yeah. Oh wait, I need my obsidian rose. This item absolutely sucks to get, but my my character, just me in general, has the most insane luck. First time ever going to hell, I got an Obsidian Rose in my first ever playthrough of Terraria. My second playthrough of Terraria, where I actually beat the game, um, the most craziest thing happened. I got two, not one on my first trip to hell, but two, and on my first trip to hell in this game, I get one. Five blocks and uh, <laughs> and uh, I give it. I, just, I could swim in lava for eight seconds. Get it, get it. Yeah, it was a bad drunk, I never showed me. <laughs> Damn, yeah, we finally got the terrace spot boots. Thank you for watching this two part tutorial. It is a shame that the sun came up because I would have actually destroyed the yeah. I'm a 
want to pass it on. Let's see. I'm gonna pause the rest of stuff here. Um, and then I'm gonna look at uh, the other pre hard mode stuff that you can get. Um, so, we won't. I'm, the shell phone! You can get the shell phone in pre hard mode. Hmm. Okay. No, I'll try it. It'll be harder, but I'll try it. Well, that's going to be it for this video. See you later. Bye.